So we all know that Seller Central can be pretty confusing and hard to navigate at the best of times. So we've designed this video series to do a deep dive into the platform and all of its functionality. So by the end of this video series, you'll know exactly how to use it and the most important sections, because let's be real, you don't need to use all of Seller Central. Therefore, you'll be able to spend more time running your business and less time searching through help centers. Let's do it. So setting up an account. An easy way to find the link is to Google sell on Amazon, and it should be the top result, or type in services.amazon.com. On this page, you can choose which country or Amazon marketplace you wanna sell in, but most commonly, and for the sake of this demonstration, we'll choose the US. You'll see a big start selling button, which is for a professional account. However, if you want an individual, you have to scroll down the page where you'll see sign up as an individual. Now that brings me to a question we get all the time. Should I get an individual or professional account? First, the similarities between the two. With both, you can use Amazon's Fulfillment Centers, also known as FBA or Fulfill Yourself, being FBM. If you use FBA, you'll pay Amazon a small fee for their service to cover the shipping and handling and so forth. You'll also pay a referral fee, which is around 15% of your sales price for most products. Here's a quick example. An average $20 product has an FBA fee of $4 and a referral fee of $3, meaning each sale you make, Amazon will deduct $7 and send you the remaining $14. So individual or professional account, both the same. Other fees, a professional account will cost you $39.99 a month. That's just to keep the membership. The individual account, however, is free, but you do pay $1 per item sold. This is really the big difference between the two. The easy answer is if you're planning to sell 40 or more items per month, then go with the professional. But if you're looking to sell less, go with the individual. But what about the timing? A lot of people say, yep, sure, I want the professional account, but I haven't found a product yet and I don't wanna be spending $40 a month. Sure thing, every dollar counts. I would wait until you've found a product that you wanna sell first. You don't really need the platform beforehand. Once you've found a product, you still need to order your big shipment. This is around the time I'd suggest creating the account because you will need to create shipping plans and labels for when your product ships. And this would typically leave around four to six weeks before your product hits Amazon's warehouse. So that might mean you pay for one month without your product being there. But again, if you're looking at this long-term as a business, that's really not much of an expense. This gives you the time to get familiar with the platform and more importantly, set up your listing. Your title, description, bullet points, taking compelling photos of your product, but we'll get to all those things. Real quick, if you're enjoying this video and wanna keep receiving great free education to grow your Amazon business, then consider subscribing to the channel just below this video. And if you hit the bell icon just to the side, you'll be notified whenever we release a new video. Thank you in advance, it means a lot. Now, let me show you the setup process. We click start selling. You'll see they want us to sign in with an Amazon customer account, or if we don't have one already, create one. You don't need to create a new customer account separate to your personal shopping. I've never known any reason to do this, just in case anyone was wondering about that. Then you'll need to enter your legal name. Basically, you can do this either as an individual or a legal entity. If you'd like more information on which one is better and how to come up with a brand name, then I've got just the thing for you. Click up here for an entire video that talks you through this process. But at this stage, if you're going in as an individual, then type in your full legal name, Leonard Smith for me. Or if you're using a company, then the way you would write this is Jungle Products LLC dash Leonard Smith. That's the best way to write it up. Check the box and click next. Now add an address for your business, which can be just your home address. And underneath this is where you'll enter your store name. You can call this anything you like and you can change it later on. It doesn't have to be the same as your company name, but it's fine if it is. Website is optional. You don't need this up front. Add a phone number to verify your account. This next step confirms your membership type. You'll want to make sure you have fulfillment by Amazon checked. And now you enter billing information for Amazon to take out their subscription fee. Once you start making sales, this will come straight out of those so your card doesn't get charged anymore. 
but Amazon does require you to have one on file. Then you enter your bank account details in order to receive payments. I'd recommend setting up a separate bank account for this to keep your business apart from your personal finance. If you're from outside the US and can't get a US bank account, then you can use services such as Payoneer to get you that account. That's what I did as I'm from Australia. I also got to sit down with Nathan Archie from Payoneer and discuss selling internationally. So if that's your thing, you can check that video out up here. The next step, tax. Boring, I know, but you gotta do it. Actually, it's not that hard. Click start, you just answer the questions. It's mostly just information you've already entered. And that about wraps it up. You're now set up and ready to rock and roll. How does it feel? So that covers setting up an account and you've taken another big step forward in building your own Amazon business. With this setup, the next thing you wanna learn is how to create a listing, which is exactly what we cover in the next video of this series. The link to that one will appear up here and again shortly at the end. Are you excited to sell on Amazon? Let me know a yes in the comments below. Also remember to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos and I will see you in the very next one where we set up your very first listing.